Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're going to be starting as Isaac here, in the hopes of completing what would be our first legitimate 10 character roundabout here. 9P, 6C, you can see our seed there. JTCK, Justin Timberlake, Crusader Kings, 9 pence, 6 uh, crowns. It's, it's really good. You should try it out. This is not an XL floor, right? Please tell me this isn't an XL floor and I didn't just ruin my chances of getting a deal with the devil. Uh, I don't love the way that this curse room paid out right off the bat, but that's okay. Very minor complaint in the whole scheme of things, as long as it doesn't snowball in a negative way out of control. There's a tinted rock here. All is forgiven. There's a tinted rock here. Okay, get, get out of here. Good stuff. We even got some regular HP back and there's two spirit hearts that we can take with us for the next floor. Of staggering importance. Now this, admittedly, this run is probably the run out of the next three that we'll need to complete our cycle that I'm least nervous about because we're Isaac, you know. Not only, uh, you know, decent stats. Ugh. <laughs> Not only good uh, stats, but also the D6. One of the better items in the game. Probably, like, bar none, one of the best items in the game. You would you would put it in the top ten for its frequency in giving you other stuff. I, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry, but I can't do it. We're too close to greatness. We're too close to greatness to try it out. And we, we entered kind of like the moment of truth here, which is, do I want to possibly pick up one of those spirit hearts before we fight our boss? Just on the off chance we fight the haunt and have the worst haunt fight in our life and end up taking three hits of damage or something like that? I don't think it's going to happen, but, you know, I've, I've been a dummy before. We'll see. For now, uh, we can definitely bomb our way into the shop if we get another bomb, but I don't really want to buy anything, so let's just, let's just do it, all right? As long as we don't die, we'll feel pretty good. We're even fighting Pin. Okay, so that's that's probably the easiest of all of the... Um, yeah, it's definitely the easiest all of, of all of the uh, seller-focused bosses that we could be fighting. Or seller-specific bosses. Um, I would much rather be fighting Pin than be fighting Fistula, an enemy who actually does a surprising amount of damage to me on a regular basis. Largely, you know, consisting of getting hit once towards the end of the fight when my brain just gets fatigued from fighting all of the freaking silkworms. But anyway, I'm much more concerned when it comes to continuing the streak. Obviously, we've got to do the Isaac one first, but I'm much more concerned about the Maggie run and the Kane run. Particularly the Maggie run. I don't know why. I, I feel like I seem to have better luck with Kane. That might be totally wrong. But we really don't need to get very lucky at all in order to actually complete this cycle. We're so, so close. Coat Hanger's great. And we'll start picking up our spirit hearts, and this should give us nearly a 100% chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. It's almost, almost unfathomable that we wouldn't. I would love to be able to pop open that tinted rock, but, you know, no bombs or any other consumables of any type. In hindsight, I would have much rather re-rolled our, uh, our secret room. By the way, if you're wondering what that item is, it's missing no. What it is, well, it's a reference to Pokemon, obviously, but, uh, what it does is every single floor, it re-rolls all of your items. It basically gives you like a one room, or the, you know, the dice room, the one dice room, gives you that. I don't want that. <laughs> it can work out very well for you, but it can also give you like a really strong floor, and then you go down to the next floor and it's like soy milk bullshit and you can't even beat it. And then the next floor, if you survived, you'd have like mom's knife polyphemus, right? So it's, it's very variable. It's a fun item. I like it a lot and it doesn't show up all that often, so... I'm disappointed to have not been able to pick it up here, but I have picked it up before. We don't need it for our, our journal or our whatever you want to call it, you know, our collection. So really, it's it's all about strategic plays here, and it would do a lot for my morale forever in my rebirth play if I could just complete a 10-character cycle, you know? It's a, it's a baby step, but it's a step nonetheless. Ah, good. Perfect timing to find our item room and still have a reroll left over. If we get one more key, conceivably we could maybe get a, a charge if we need one from the battery in order to uh, have guarantee us a 100% chance that we can go into our shop. This is a weird one. I think what we end up doing here is uh, is we don't reroll the quarter. Because I would like to take the quarter. Yeah, we're waiting for another key. Then we come in here. And we'll buy the quarter, and the quarter will allow us to take the compass and have a pretty good chance of getting hive mind as well, which I think is actually a pretty good get here. Um, let's shoot these down. Sure, there's still more fires. I want to try to get this thing, like, all the way up here. Oh, it totally worked! Okay. I was a little skeptical that that was going to make it happen, but it did. And we're at four minutes. Boss Rush might not be on our uh, minds right now, but that's okay. You know what? Hive Mind is okay, but I'm going to reroll it. 
And the Steam sale is actually a pretty good pickup for the future, you know? We've leveraged this quarter into the compass and uh, half price items for the rest of the game. That's solid in my book. So we're going to be fighting a basement boss. Now we are not going to have a D6 charge. Oh man, walked right into that one. We're not going to have a D6 charge, which is very stupid of me. But we might be able to go back and buy one. Was there a charge in there? I can't remember. It would be awesome if we could get one. There was. Okay, so for three cents we'll pick that up. Uh, should have basically a 100% chance of getting a deal with the devil here. Hopefully some uh, two hard deals show up in there. Larry J. What do we, we got Speedball and uh, Coat Hanger. All right, so our, our rate of fire is out of control right now. It's Bananas, B-A-N-A-S, but uh, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Did I say B-A-N-A-S earlier? The shit is Bananas, B-A-N-A-S, like a snake. Now, look, I'm getting hit. That happens to me against Larry Jr. I'm not proud of myself. It just happens. He's like my fistula. <laughs> I'm happy to have the HP because we might not have the Spirit Heart for long. Ah, uh, then we get a couple of deals here. Now, I think, just to be on the safe side, we'll take Headless Baby, which is okay. And then, that gives us Deal with the Devil precedent in case we reroll this into a shit item. Which we did not. Guppy's Head is, um, it's a good item. We're gonna do some more exploration to go to this curse room, maybe. It's a good item. Uh, we're not going to take it with us, but we also have a decent supply of HP with us here anyway, so uh, we, we have our fingers in many different pies, shall we say. we got a good guppy chance, uh, we've got deal with the devil precedent for sure, still decent HP because we did pick up HP from this boss, which was uh, fairly important if we were going to take that second deal. Could have found ourselves a little bit more behind the eight ball. There's a tinted rock down there. If we get like two bombs, we have a lot of uses for them. But I am going to sacrifice our Spirit Heart for the uh, unlikely event of us maybe getting a Guppy item from this Curse Room. Let's do it. No bombs. No bombs. That's okay, because we got this. Ah, we got Tammy's head out of it, which is not good for us at all. But at least it means Tammy's head won't show up in the future. Tammy's head, a great item. I might like it to show up in the future, but it won't show up in the future. So, we have uh, another interesting conundrum. Do we hurt ourselves to get into this boss rush room? Presumably, there's got to be, like, spikes or fire somewhere. Yeah. It's a risky play. We do have some spiders backing us up. What kind of ch... <laughs> oh, we got to go back. What kind of chests uh, are we going to be coming across inside of there? Uh, you know what? With only one hit, like, we're only able to take one hit. I can't do it. Maybe next time. Would have loved to have become Guppy early, but, you know, staying alive is an extremely important part of uh, our overall chances here, so let's just leave. And we did leave behind some Tinted Rocks. Uh, I'll, I'll shoot the poop just in case. We have the opportunity to pick up some bombs, and if we pick up those, or if we pick up the money, we pick up the bombs. We pick up the bombs, we get the Tinted Rocks. That's okay. Down to the next floor. HP, obviously, a sore spot right now. We didn't get uh, incredible items from our deal with the devil, but it's okay. Uh, three red chests. Well worth doing. And that early spirit heart, oh my god, and the goat head. That early spirit heart, so important for getting the deal with the devil, until we got the goat head. And now, um, that's actually completely excellent for us. How are you not dead? A spider crashed in you. It does two and a half times the damage of one of my tears, plus I've been shooting nonstop. This is ridiculous. Anyway, the goat head pickup gives us a very, very, very good chance of becoming Guppy in the future. This guy's getting so confused because he keeps getting hurt when he walks on the creep. I know the feeling, man. I've been there. What hit me? It's always the creep. If you gotta ask, it's always the creep. We really would love to get some damage upgrades, but let's let's look at the worst case scenario because that is often what ends up happening uh, in Isaac. Sometimes, sometimes you get super lucky, like you start an Eden run and you get Sacred Heart right off the bat, but... Our worst case scenario here is this floor gives us a deal with the devil, which gives us Krampus, which gives us Krampus' head. We hopefully have a reroll, but worst case scenario, we wouldn't. That leaves us with one more floor at the very least where we've got to be very diligent about not taking damage. After that, it should start to get easier, at least on average, but I guess we're not talking about worst case scenario anymore, are we? Uh, this, this room's a little touch and go. Predominantly because of... The, uh... Ooh. Yep. Predominantly because of the, the big guys that can do more damage to us here. No keys. Always unfortunate. Doesn't really matter if we do that, so let's do that. 
It didn't work out for me, but you can understand my reasoning in doing so, I think. Could have also just gone to the curse room there, and that probably would have been a better use of our time, but whatever. It's all good. Yeah, okay, a bomb for a nickel is great, but we need the keys in order to make it work first. Also, a pretty good chance that our secret room is actually uh, adjacent to that curse room and that item room. So if we get like two or three bombs, that would be great. It looks like we're just going to be working our way towards the boss as quickly as possible, because without any keys, that's really the only seam that we can get on this floor reliably. How are you not exploded yet? Yeah, there we go. One of you exploded. And there's one bomb. Again, that's um, potentially a secret room finder, but if we found a uh, tinted rock, we might just pop it there, because you never know if maybe we end up fighting like one of the truly hellish bosses that we can face right here. Like, if we fought Mega Fatty, I I'm pretty sure we'd live, but it would be frustrating. Can we stop fly uh, fighting flying items, or flying enemies, by the way, that uh, are immune to this? Like, the, the creep damage from Headless Baby is already totally meager, but... Uh, one bomb for two bombs. And maybe a secret? No, that's very unlikely. Still, two bombs. That maybe gives us an out here to get into... Probably go to our item room first. But the secret room could be in a couple of different situations here. Could be there, or... It could be... Oh, it can't be there, so we'll, we'll try to go into our curse room for free now, which might inform the choice that we make on our deal with the devil, if we have a choice. So that is... Oh, it's another key that will allow us to get to our item room. The shop doesn't seem as important for us right now. Inside of our curse room, just a bunch of spiders, but at least we know, right? And we didn't spend any HP to try it, so... Plus, our creep will actually affect these spiders, and we'll maybe get a consumable at the end? Sure, it's only a penny, but that's something. We gotta be a little cautious here. This is a floor where it could all come crumbling down. The doctor's remote pickup is not good. However, you know, we can do something like... Uh, I was thinking we could try to find like a secret room out of it, but... We're gonna just take the D6 with us for now. We're not gonna reroll doctor's remote just yet, because in, an, in like an ideal world we would be able to... Use our reroll on our devil room instead. We might not have the opportunity to do so, but we might have the opportunity to do so. This penny is inaccessible to us. Which is actually a big deal, because if we get a key, three cents is the magic number to pick up a consumable. Like a charge. Hey, like a charge, hey. Should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kind of sad being the laughing stock of the neighborhood. It's so... It's really weird, but because I'm like banging on the keys at the same time, I kind of feel like a really poor man's Randy Newman or something like that. Sure people got no reason. Sure people got no reason. I'm not a very good Randy Newman uh, impersonator. Anyway. Torn photo. So good. Good DPS upgrade for us. And, uh, ha ha. Uh, ha ha. Yeah, we'll take Rodden, baby. Oh, we couldn't have taken it anyway. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Hey, it's all our Matthew McConaughey numbers here. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're going to do a little bit more exploration. We could get killed in one hit. But we got torn photo. Don't farkin' touch me, okay? We have to be very cautious about these spikes. Good. <laughs> are you uh, are you waiting with as bated breath as I am? Good thing is these enemies should be largely um, ineffective at doing anything to me. Fuck the charge at this point. We gotta pick up. Um, we gotta pick up uh, spirit heart to keep us alive. That bomb does nothing for us except let us get a nickel. Should we trade it? Probably not. <laughs> but am I gonna throw five cents away to like try to find a second secret room? No, we gotta. We just gotta keep it in the hopes of finding an eternal heart. It's a very tricky situation. We should have used our reroll. We should have saved our reroll. But I was hoping it would be like nine lives, or you know, Judas the Shadow, or something like that. Anything that gave us an increased chance of survival. Um, but uh, we should have rerolled Doctor's Remote. This is such a scary situation now. These guys, you know the deal on these guys. We just gotta get in the in the zone quick enough. Now that we have one key. This floor, that's going to become uh, more likely to be used on the shop, without a doubt. Just get through this room. Don't get hit by your own TNT. And um, don't get hit by these Larry Juniors. And buy a Spirit Heart, and then you're in the clear, man. 
then you are in the clear. All right, I like it. No greed fight, but no items or no spirit hearts. I mean, uh, we will totally take mom's key. It's such a good item. And for one more cent, we can get another key. This is a scary room. Good. There, there was a very subtle thing there that I did that might have saved my run. I, I baited the um, the one champion into going around in a in the way that he didn't want to do, and that gave me a, an escape route that kept me alive. Um, we can't do anything there. I don't know why we're coming down this way instead of going what appears to be the faster way to get to the boss. I guess my, my hope and dream is that we end up finding a Tinted Rock. So we're going to be definitely doing our due diligence to find those every single time we have the opportunity to do so. Please. Thank you. No, you need to stay very much away. We trade a bomb for a bomb, and uh, in the process we might get the Bang the Bang Dicky if we're lucky. No? Alright. Not so scary of a room. Every room is getting graded on the spookiness scale right now. Um, and so far, this one is the scariest. This is a room where we could die if we get hit. Now, it's in our best interest, without a doubt, to shoot all of the fires. Because uh, not only for red hearts, there's a small chance of spirit hearts out of them. Oh, fuck this room. I do not love being trapped here. Pop up. You gotta pop up. You don't understand. You have to pop up. You don't understand. You're, you're failing to understand. We had to. We had to go for it. We're out now. God Goathead, no deal with the devil, got compromised in the making of this film. Well, that was fucking terrifying. Um, let's let's come down here. Red chest, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not even that good of an item. But Lazarus' is rags, it's like playing as the Lost, man. Lazarus' is rags gives us the chance. The chance. To respawn. And it might give us the damage bonus as well when we do. Not that I'm going to try to kill myself to make it happen. But that's huge. Um, that is an enormous get for us. Whether it looks like it or not. Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling stronger. I think we, we did prove ourselves there. So I, I feel great about our performance leading up to it. Even though we did take a little bit of damage on uh, that last room. But that last room that we were in is straight up like one of the hardest rooms on this floor. We desperately need, like, a, a guppy transformation, or just... How are you jumping, like, one pixel below my creep at all times? Teach me your ways. But, um, like, we need a high damage item. We already lost our chance at Mom's Knife. That'll be fine if we get Brimstone or Death's Touch. Wink, wink. A uh, guppy transformation would be awesome. We, we are in the market for these. Or, hey, maybe for the first time in, like, 12 runs, we could actually get an HP upgrade on the boss after taking our first deal with the devil. Hmm, maybe? No? Okay. Well, that's alright, too, you know. Uh, it just makes the win that much sweeter when we get it. WHEN we get it, not if we get it. This is a hero font card anyway, so I'm not sweating it. Pretty much. <laughs> well, the chariot card has a couple of different uses. One of which would uh, be to use it on the boss, one of which would be to use it on the blood bank, which there is on this floor. Maybe get some extra money, maybe get some, uh, maybe get some, uh, extra HP, maybe get a little of both. Maybe get signed up for a, a tango tournament against our will and still come in first place, you know? It could happen. And we gotta watch out, because this guy's real sneaky. Behind blue eyes here, behind Gertie's eyes, there will be some flies, and those flies will be taking cracks at me, which I do not appreciate. We've really got to watch out for those bullets. He's got a, a nice meat shield happening right now that's going to make it very difficult for us to, to tell when the flies are, are there and when they're potent and when they're ready. But we're almost done with this Gertie fight, thanks to Rotten Baby, an item that could have very nearly killed me. Or did very nearly kill me, I guess I should say. Oh, an HP upgrade. You're too good to me. I knew we were going to have a chance to fight Krampus, and this is okay. We'll get Lump of Coal, or we'll get Krampus' head, and if we get Krampus' head, we'll reroll it. 
into a potentially game busting deal with the devil item. Remember when I brought up like the worst case scenarios? We're pulling away from those worst case scenarios. It's not so bad anymore. We, we've we've worked through them basically. Sister Maggie is not what I'm hoping for here. And since the goat head will keep that door open, we might as well just try to make this run, um, or try to like get another charge to use on Sister Maggie. Because if we end up not being able to pick up Sister Maggie, you know, no love lost, right? Like it's not worth anything basically. All right, uh, let's start looking for secret rooms. For once, for once, we actually have a little bit of a buffer of HP here, which normally is not the case. We'll even pick this up, and uh, you rest assured we will play our Blood Bank. We'll play it, and then we'll crack the Cherry card, and we'll play it some more. What were we missing on our shop? We, we only picked up one of the items. I kind of got blinded by the fact that there were no Spirit Hearts on it. Secret room here, maybe? Mayhaps? Mm, no? What about a secret room here, per chance? I think we already looked there. Yeah, what a waste. Oh well. It's not like we find tinted rocks anyway. Titted rocks? That's not what I meant to say. Alright, work with me. Work with me. I'm gonna get another like five or six plays out of this. Well, usually like three or four probably to be realistic. Oh, we got five. No six though. It's alright, the money is real. 23 cents. The Lazarus's Rags pickup is just the most glorious thing. I'm so appreciative of that. Check out our shop. This is going to be a slow run. We're not going to Boss Rush. Oh, the other one was Blue Candle. And there is no charge for sale, so that sucks. But we'll pay two cents for a Red Heart. We'll get at least two cents back. Might even get a uh, Blood Bag back. Or we might choose to not play it at all, depending on how our HP looks after this big room. But we also have... Uh, I hate this room, but we also have an item room right at the end of it. It's conceivable that we don't take damage here. Thank you, Rotten Babies Flies. There we go. We're not going to get another charge, which is the real killer here. We're going to have to go with Sister Maggie. Could be worse. <laughs> Could be worse. Demon Baby. Demon Baby, okay. Demon Baby is okay. I'm going to pop this Hierophant card. And we're going to go... Um, we're gonna go play the blood bank because we now can absolutely afford to. What a uh, what a what a country that we live in right now. How did we manage to make this situation turn out? I bet you were crapping your pants. I for one was not scared at all, um, but I can understand how some people might be. We might as well pick up the key just to ensure we can go to the deals with the devil on or uh, the the item room and shop on future floors. Our money situation is gonna be relatively sorted. We're already at 20 minutes and we're only on caves two. So say goodbye to boss rush. That's okay, though. Gonna get three... Whoa! That's the good stuff right there. We're gonna get three plays out of that. There might be a small contingent of people out there saying, you know, you should really go uh, pick up Blue Candle. I don't think Blue Candle's the item that we need to, to tear this run open, honestly. There might be some people saying, take the pill. That might be a really good idea. But for now, I'm, I'm just content to be in a pretty okay position. Uh... Certainly not really where I wanted to be four floors deep, but we at least have substantially more survivability than we used to. You know what? Thank you, Blood Bank. You tried, basically. That's where I'm going to get. That's where I'm going to land at there. And, uh, all right, can't take that. It would be, it would be nice. Let me put it this way. If we ended up having a hard time on this run, but still winning, that would be great for my confidence as we move into these Maggie and Kane runs. Where, uh, I thought those were going to be difficult, Instead, maybe we'll get our difficulty out of our system right here. Don't forget, Sister Maggie. Like, it's not a big deal, but <laughs> you might as well take it. It's a big deal to the people watching, so we'll take Sister Maggie. It also means Sister Maggie won't show up in any other item rooms or devil rooms, which might be a more important thing than getting Sister Maggie herself, but hey, we got it. Anything you want, you got it. Oh, man. Unless you want a damage upgrade, in which case you're up shit creek without a paddle. I really thought this would be the way to go to get to the item room. Seriously, thank you. We will we'll try to get to our item room right off the bat. It's just it's the most important room. That and the shop and the boss room and the devil room. I would give a lot of money to go back and do my damnedest not to take damage from that uh, champion there, losing a whole spirit heart in the process. We're only on the depths though. It's not Necropolis. It's never a good sign when that matters, but it does matter. So you know, better to be realistic about it. 
Good, good, good. Flies will take care of it. All right. We don't know this pill. Don't take pills you don't know. At least not until you're in a safe place. We need to get like a trip sitter or something here. I'll take it. Oh, I stepped on the enemy creep. I thought that was my creep. Damn you, headless baby. Piggy bank. It's okay. Which is why I took it. And then in here. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. We could have gotten a lot of rerolls. We're definitely taking both of these. And we're buying our spirit heart. And we're buying our key. Uh, I'm not gonna... Well, we shouldn't use a reroll. We got amnesia. That's alright. We can see where we're going. So that's... Those are huge pickups for the amount of times we'll be able to use our... Um, our D6 in the future. Yeah, chase me down. Chase me down, motherfucker. Get on the creep. This is where you belong. Yes. Beautiful. Alright. Boss fight. Don't be tough. Give me, give me a brimstone. Give me a brimstone. That's how we pull out of this. It's not even a tailspin. We're actually riding the ship right now. Okay, well, we're obviously going to end up uh, getting some kind of orbital here. It's not bad, actually. We could re-roll the orbital if we want to, but I like having an orbital, especially if we end up getting permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is something that happens an awful lot of the time. Permanent Polaroid Invincibility plus an Orbital means every time we get hit, we can punish the enemies quite profusely. In hindsight, I do sort of wish I'd re-rolled the Piggy Bank. We already have Steam Sale. The money that we pick up is probably not going to be that meaningful for us. I need to get a little bit more aggressive with our uh, re-rolls. But also, I should have gone to the shop first. Then I would have known that we would have had... Uh... I can't re-roll Gimpy. I think I got a re-roll Ball of Bandages then. Oh, uh, what do we get? Justice, that's alright, but still... Um, well, we've already been to item room, shop, it, but we're not, we don't need to go fast here, so let's take the opportunity to maybe get some more, uh, some more stuff. I know there's a curse room, maybe a mini boss coming up. I hate that we took an amnesia pill, but whatever. It's alright, I have faith in us here. Take your time, we're gonna be on this floor for a while, settle up. Settle in, I should say, not settle up. Settle up means you're getting ready to leave. English, what a language. Anyway. 24 minutes, yeah. Yeah, clear your schedules. Looking for rock tinteds. Looking to not fight many more chubs, because, you know, one movement slip up causes us some issues. Looking to find uh, another boss trap room, because we're not going to the boss rush room, that's for sure. The gimpy pickup is huge if we get arcades. Even being able to generate another spirit heart or two via gimpy can be the difference between a deal with the devil item being. Uh, you know, takeable, and a deal with the devil item not being takeable. It happens all the time. But for now, um, the, the Gimpy pickup was agonizing. I sh maybe shouldn't re have rerolled Ball of Bandages, especially after saying that Ball of Bandages is really, you know, something that we desire if we get permanent Polaroid invincibility. But hey, you know, I took a crack at it. We could have gotten Magic Mushroom. Instead, we got one of the worst, uh, one of the worst boss items in the game by most people's standards. Shit happens. And again, the rerolls are going to be coming fast and furious here. Getting more keys. This is good. I'll sacrifice a spirit heart to go into the curse room. We have a chance to get a spirit heart payout in reverse from Gimpy for going in there anyway. It's unlikely. It doesn't really factor into my decision making process, but, you know, it is the kind of thing that can happen. And moreover, we've, we've really got we to push for everything we can get on this floor. Piggy Bank gave us a little money when we got hit. Yeah, this could pay out. Sure. Might want to save our few remaining bombs here. What about this? Red chest? Uh, red chest? Red chest. Guppy. 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 Uh, well, we got a spirit heart. You might be confused, because you might be saying, well, why is he saying guppy? It's uh, statistically proven that if you chant the name of the item you want, there's an extra 15% chance that it actually shows up. Because when you uh, boot up Isaac, it actually checks to see your onboard audio devices to see if maybe you have a microphone. And if it does, then, you know, Edmund, Tyrone, they sit at home and they listen and they give you the items that you actually want sometimes. And then they give you the exact opposite of what you want other times just to keep the balance here. For every one of you playing Isaac right now, there's actually a man employed, uh, or a lady employed for that matter. Oh, thank you, Balls of Steel. Um, that uh, sits, you know, in their office and they listen to what you're saying against your will. And well, without you knowing, at least, and they they tailor your game experience like that. It's like the next step of the Left for Dead director. Oh, I hate this room. There, we've had this room before with with like, uh, you know, Sacred Heart. Or, I think it was Godhead. We had this, and like everything just died instantly. But if you don't have everything dying instantly, that can be a bit of a hard one. 
I don't see any rock tinteds, but I think we we did do right by uh, by the viewers on that floor. We explored and we earned earned a little bit as a result of our explorations. Not really too curious about finding a secret room when we have amnesia active. This next floor is extremely extremely important. I really cannot stress it enough. Just just give me brimstone, man. Like we've been treading water for so long, very slightly improving ourselves time and time again. We are very lucky to have the compass. I don't I don't love Necropolis. Um, but we'll be able to blow up some stuff, make this fight a little easier. In addition, had the chance to find some uh, you know, demon hearts, black hearts, etc. etc. Whatever you want to call them. Um, these guys are dangerous because of the fact that they're constantly shooting those bullets. It messes me up all the time. Can't believe we didn't get anything out of six skulls. Not even a, a host. Like, I'm not saying I want a host. I'm just surprised by the, the outcome. I'll, I'll even use one more bomb here. I don't care. There we go. We got a tarot card. It's the fool. That's good enough to get us out of the curse room, at least. And, uh, wow. We really did that for two cents. We Oh, we got a key out of it, too. And we did do some damage to... Um, to Mega Maw, so I can't complain too much. Does this mean Mega Fatty's coming up next? I hope not. Ah, the husk. That's like the exact opposite of Mega Fatty. He moves around all the time, doesn't shoot any bullets, shooting spiders instead, and uh, is just generally not that difficult. Has basically no HP. I don't mind this room. You know, it is the the reality of the situation is that in having um, headless baby, we should have a pretty good chance to to hard counter these guys. Bit of a bold play, but for a Yara rune, I would say that that is a pretty smart play as well. That's oh, I'm trapped. Yep, it happens. It happens. Uh, I would say that's incredibly lucky, and of course means that you know if we can just make it down to the chest, we've got a very 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 good chance of, of getting items good enough to carry us in you know in conjunction with one another amnesia probably not gonna take that just in case you were wondering with six keys you know we do want to save some save some for uh, Yara in the future but I would love to enter this double key room I don't know if maybe if we rerolled our run that might be good but if actually it can't be little haunt is acceptable it can't be a run reroller because we would see the dice on the map where we don't right now we just see like a library or something that's great. Uh, so that will give us the ability to fly. There's so many reasons this is great. One of which is it gives us the ability to fly. I'm not sure if you heard that part. But beyond that, um, it means that we don't have to buy an ability to fly from our shop. Or sorry, from our deal with the devil. So if we uh, if we come across like a spirit of the night, we can just say no. Save two hearts or use them on something else. So I'm trying to find stuff like hero font cards. You know, Wheel of Fortune is what it is. Which is not very good for us right now. But, um, you know, our secret room could be, like, here, so let's try this out. It's alright, we got a bomb and a key back for it. This is a big moment. Uh, no greed, which is the biggest part of this, for sure. So we definitely buy the spirit heart. What about the pill? Balls of steel. Lucky me. I think we'll take the bomb. Uh, we'll buy this, and then use it, and it gives us the stars, which is not meaningful now, but... It's alright, then we'll re-roll it into PhD. Which I think is fantastic. And then we'll buy this as well. And what's our PhD card? I can see forever. Well, that'll give us access to the secret rooms. That was just a very nice shop. <laughs> we had a lot of okay stuff happen on that shop. So now we can uh, head down. We, this should be good now. Yeah, I can see forever. Well, we're going to be taking our Yara card with us. But um, this is... That was very good. Could have probably predicted a greed fight in our secret room considering we didn't get one in our shop. So we have PhD now. Um, Steam sale just in time. Well, that's another reroll. Yeah, we have time. Oh man. So I'm not sure if we've ever had transcend transcendence. Uh, truth be told, obviously, you know, it doesn't really benefit us that much if we have had it. But if we haven't had it, that's the main reason I picked it up. Just in case we haven't had it. I'm still looking for black hearts. I'm looking for runes. I'm looking to Yara my Yara rune. Kiss your mother with that mouth. Uh, th we're, we're coming up uh, doing some decent stuff here. Little haunt. If you could uh, actually strike fear into the hearts of these chubs, that would be great. Not too much fear, though, because I would like them to chase me down across this, you know, bloody prime meridian that I've set up here so that they can actually uh, take a little creep damage in the process. 
One is dead. And this is a this is a run where, you know, it's more than the sum of its parts. Our familiars are working together in a really nice way to do some consistent damage. And uh, we've, we've had to make some bold tactical plays, but they've worked out. I'm so happy that we did make the decision to pick up Rotten Baby. Were it not for that, uh, we, we might find ourselves in a bit of a tricky spot here, damage-wise. Because our damage kind of sucks, but with Rotten Baby, it's doable. Second secret room. Another black heart. So this deal with the devil is important. I really, 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 really want a good damage item on this deal with the devil. We're going to just be just in time for a reroll, uh, which is nice. It's important. It's extremely important, more so than any run that we've had recently, to not take damage on this fight. Because we have no means of replenishing our black hearts or our spirit hearts. Gimpy will give us the occasional... Uh, you know, get out of jail free card when we get hit. We should have looked around more on this floor for a uh, blood bank, by the way, to you know emphasize that possibility or take advantage fully of that possibility. Got to be quiet so I can hear the footsteps. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's good enough. Ooh, almost got to take me out there. Might be, you know, if if Gimpy's gonna pay out, it makes sense for us to actually uh, take damage, but we have no idea of knowing if it's gonna happen. So. You know, you just gotta be happy with it when it happens. Long mom fight by relative Isaac standards. Don't see any shadows. There's one. Always go for the foot when it shows up, because it stays around longer, I feel. Okay, definitely the Polaroid. We need it. And, uh, sure, yeah, the pentagram. It's worth it. It's a damage upgrade. It won't put us in permanent Polaroid invincibility. You know, um... Missing page two is kind of not good. I could have re-rolled it. I sh ah, you know what? I should go back and re-roll it now. It'll become a three spirit heart deal. For Abaddon, okay. That, <laughs> if I had not gone through with that, that would have, unbeknownst to me, really colored our possibilities in this run. That Abaddon pickup is extraordinary and probably, for the first time in a long time, puts us in the driver's seat. I don't really need to keep this up, but I'm going to just so I can... Uh, Keep in mind where I'm going in the future. So we really upped our individual tier damage, which is really, really going to up our fly damage. You know, everything that affects our damage affects the fly damage twice as much. And we still have this Yara rune play. Uh, I Again, doesn't feel right to call this a one run. But it's at least in the most winning position that we've had since the first floor. For sure. Confidence hit an all-time low, but that uh, that deal with the devil brought it right back. Oh man, and the Pact for free is a huge get. We'll also get a reroll right here for this Mr. Boom item. And we have another deal with the Devil coming on this floor that could put us in permanent Polaroid Invincibility. Uh, that is the body. That is three three uh, HP upgrades at the same time here. That's lovely. The Pact... That sucks right there. But the Pact pickup is good. Uh, the body pickup might fuck up our permanent Polaroid Invincibility, but is a great pickup from a survivability standpoint. So I would say Guppy is... Uh, unless the next Devil Room proves me wrong, Guppy's a pretty unlikely uh, get for us here. But I'm not that concerned about that anymore. We don't need Guppy. Guppy's just a shortcut to success. We we went around the long way, but we might still be able to get there. Again, I'm not going to call this a one run yet, but the, the Abaddon packed pentagram pickups in the last few rooms have, have really, you know, it feels like we're finally rewarding us for the kind of harrowing position we found ourselves in on these, this run over the course of several floors. All right, conquest. I, you know, ideal outcome here is that we just get some great deal with the devil opportunities, and then we can use our um, our reroll to reroll white pony into something. We already have two passive abilities to fly, or uh, passive flying abilities. We really don't need another uh, ability to fly that actually takes up our D6 slot, especially when the active effect sucks. All right, so there's Guppy's tail. I think we take that. I can't remember if we're close to becoming Guppy. I think we only had one item. Then we reroll the other two. Uh, I think we just take Dark Bum, honestly. We can't reroll Conquest. Uh, well, we, we could. Let's do a little bit of exploration then. Because now that we have the Guppy Dream potentially set up here, uh, we might want to go to this... Oh, so good. <laughs> we might want to slow down a little bit because I'm... I'm starting to go fast because I was in such a shitty position. Where's the red heart on here? Oh, it's not. It's on the next room. Uh, I st I'm starting to go fast because we were like 
It's like if you were really broke and then you won the lottery. You'd probably, you know, you'd say you want to spend yada yada yada. I want to be like, I want to save uh, some money and not be, become one of those lottery winners. But probably for at least a little while, you'd be cracking out the checkbook, right? Did we take, no, we left Satanic Bible. Do we want to reroll Conquest or do we want to reroll Satanic Bible? We probably want to reroll Satanic Bible now that I think about it. Um, anyway. That's how I feel right now. It's like we we found ourselves in a position for so long where we were barely surviving, and now we're in a position where we're we're thriving, and I'm speeding along. It's reckless. We should slow down. Yes, thank you for the red hearts, red chests. Ooh, duh, 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 okay. Can't win them all. Just get a red chest or red hearts here. Wow. Well, this will take us to eight keys, which will put us in the driver's seat from the Yara room perspective, at least. And we won't get a reroll at the end of this room. Thank you, Dark Bomb. Thank you very much. I really thought you were going to pay out there, but I guess it's uh, probably due on the next room. Don't accidentally hit Q. Oh, that's real bad. But that means we will get a reroll as soon as we finish this room. And Dark Bum is keeping me in the in the money from an HP standpoint, so I appreciate that. Don't throw this, because I've already done the hard part. Now all you got to do is take it to the finish line. You know, you've, you've taken off, you've gotten the cruising altitude, you've given all the customers their meals. Now you just got to, you know, land the plane. I had to open this because of Mom's key. Yes, you are a goddamn national hero, Dark Bum. This country owes you a great debt. Thank you. Okay, now we take it back and reroll, and we can do this all day. And I'm gonna be rerolling Satanic Bible for a number of reasons. Deal with the Devil Pool is just better than the Boss Pool. Now it's only a one chance here. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> I think we'll probably just go now. Like, I don't really care about rerolling Conquest. The fact that we picked up the mark there is just fantastic. Of course, I would have been looking for a guppy item, ideally. Or, like, Death's Touch, but whatever. Red chest. Oh, really? I would have thought a red chest would be plausible there. Oh, you know what? You've earned it here. I forgot that we have a donation machine that we could take advantage of. So let's crank this bad boy up. The mark pickup, you know, our damage is starting to get out of control here. And with the Yara rune, like, on the deals of the devil, you build your damage, typically. Then, Yara rune on the chest. Get those fat synergies, Cricket's body, maybe a magic mushroom or something like that to really take it to the next level. You can also get Death's Touch on Golden Chest, so, um, you know, that, that would be awesome if it happened. But, we don't need it anymore, which is great. And, say what you will about, um, about my Isaac play. This is a run I'm very proud of, and uh, justifiably. You can't make me not proud of this one. PhD means we'll know what this is. Thank you for the spirit heart. We may have gotten carried, but goddamn if the game didn't make us work for it. That is not good damage. It's all right. Uh, the fact that we have not encountered a dead end down here makes me feel very good about the odds that this is our boss area over here. Thank you. That should be a payout from Dark Bum. Two-thirds chance, anyway. Yeah, that is not a guppy item, I can't help but notice, but balls of steel, ah, two balls of steel pills. Wow, so one of those would have been a bad trip pill in our normal rotation. Unfortunately, we can't take it with us, but, uh, you know, it's, hopefully they'll find a good home. The Yara rune is, is way more important than two spirit hearts, unless it isn't. If you know what I mean. I didn't mean to come down here. That's okay, though. Did anything explode up here yet? No. I don't think we're going to find, like, a black market, but we might as well check. Uh, okay, that's more more power to Dark Bomb here. I actually would prefer if Dark Bomb didn't pay out right off the bat, because, well, never mind. Flies, thank you. <laughs> this appears to be the wrong way now. Dark Bomb, you can take your hearts, but I'd prefer if you didn't... I'd prefer if you didn't pay out right now, and maybe you just stored those for the next floor, but eh, never mind. We may end up needing them. It's happened in the past. Didn't see any rock tinteds. Ten keys is a lovely situation, of course, to be in with this Yara Rune. All we have to do is get through the chest on the next floor. Eleven keys? You know what I always say? Eleven's better than ten. It's my catchphrase. Use it all the time. What do you mean you never heard it? Do you even watch the show? Ten's better than eleven, man. Or, I mean, eleven's better than ten. Oh, God, all my branding is just blowing up in my face now. Okay. Well, that's terrible damage, but it's all good. And we should have an extraordinarily good chance of winning this run. I still have to not completely blow it, but the, the mom's key pickup... Oof. The mom's key pickup combined with um, the chests...
combined with Dark Bum work very well in synergy with one another and help us out a great deal. And if we really wanted to get one more Red Heart, we probably or one more uh, Spirit Heart, we probably could just by blowing up like these polyps and stuff like that, but I'm not going to bother with it. Instead, we're just going to head down to the next floor. Curse Room be damned, I almost went through the trap door. That would have been a bad decision on my part, but we still would have kept the streak going. Curse of Dorkness, more like. <laughs> we're going to come and fight in our... Um, in our mob trap room, because it gives us a pretty dang good chance of uh, getting red chests, and if we get red chests, that gives us a relatively okay chance of making the Guppy dream a reality. And if anyone's gonna be mad at me for becoming Guppy on this run, you come see me after fucking class, all right? This is the definition of earning it. Okay, that sounded pompous. I apologize for that. It is a video game. Um, sure, more red hearts. I appreciate that. I just wanted to make sure he knew. Yeah, we're, we're, we're coming through the enemies relatively quickly. The thing that does worry me is that, you know, I don't think we're going to have that much trouble against our bosses. I think it's our, um... I think it's our rooms leading up to our bosses that are going to be a little tricky. Like, this room is not a good example of that, but rooms where there's a lot of shit that I have to dodge. Think about, like, a double cage room, double adversary room. I don't think we're particularly well suited to those. It should still be difficult to kill us. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think, you know, we're not in, like, one-shotting enemies as soon as we walk into the room territory. Which is fine. You don't have to be in that, in that territory to win a run, as we've shown many, many, many times. Probably the majority of times that we've won runs have been in situations that were not like that. However, <laughs> it, it does, it puts a small little, you know, little, little chink in my armor where I'm like... Are we invincible? No, we're not. We're, we're very mortal on this run. But we are doing a lot of damage, and I did not... Uh, for a lot of this run, I did not think we were even going to get close to this amount of damage and this amount of survivability, so it's, it's an extremely lucky position to be in. I will absolutely sacrifice one Spirit Heart to go to our Cursed Room, even if it's like a 10% chance of becoming Guppy. Why the heck not? The only reason why not is to protect one Spirit Heart, but we should be okay with Spirit Hearts. At that degree. Thanks to, uh... Thanks to Guppy. Or, sorry, thanks to Dark Bomb. So this has to be the right way. Let's just kill the, uh, the Bomb Spewer first, and then we just got one... You know, a little bit of Riff Raff left, and... He's much easier to kill. We still might kill him before the Pony. It, got, it was pretty close, you gotta admit. Not Guppy. Can't help but realize or think that those are not Guppy. Um, Bombs are key, doesn't matter. So that, that other one is Balls of Steel. Uh, Balls of Steel doesn't drop the Spirit Arts on the ground. Hierophant drops them on the ground. We actually could have done that in a better way. The way that you should do that... I don't know if I can... St I can still do it. No, maybe not. You go in, get the Balls of Steel pill, drag it out. Take a Spirit Heart of Damage. Drop it on the ground. Go back in, get the Yara Rune, take a Spirit Heart of Damage. Then, go back out. Well, you're already out at that point. Um, pick up Balls of Steel, use it, and then you've saved the one Spirit Heart. But that is very convoluted and unlikely to make a difference, so I'm going to ignore that. Plus, I think we're already past that point. Hermit card doesn't help us out. Sort of. We definitely want to roll with our Yara rune. Why does this room feel so fast? Did we pick up Broken Stopwatch? Or is this just... It's, I think it's because we had Broken Stopwatch, or we had Working Stopwatch on our last time. Which uh, made it a lot easier for us to get this done. Yes, thank you. That's what I was asking for there. It was a little haunt to get aggro. It's not going to be an, an enormous coup for us. But it will mean that he, he'll be afraid at every available opportunity. And uh, also he'll take some DOT, which is important. I have a tendency to take more damage than I should against these enemies. Against, well, these enemies. Against Isaac, specifically. All right, so ideally we'll get Little Haunt close enough to aggro, and he has chosen no, so we're going to fly back here. The Yara rune play is of extreme importance. Just to keep that in mind, we're not opening golden chests until we use the Yara rune. And if we get blank card, well, I guess we can't do anything about that because we'll already... If we get blank card, we will be sad and then reroll it into Death's Touch. But for now, HP is good, and do keep in mind I do have Lazarus's Rags, which is not a, you know, carte blanche if you die, you're fine. But it does mean if we die on the boss room specifically, we have an okay chance of still succeeding. For now, no left hand. 
Yara Rune. And this is important. Very good. Good. Very good. 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 Not at all good. Not good. Extraordinarily good. This is one of the best uh, hauls we've ever had. I may reroll Scapular. Uh, Eve's Mascara is so huge. Holy Mantle so huge. The rest are getting rerolled. And we got Proptosis out of it. And Scorpio's okay. Dead Sea Scrolls is not, but we have another reroll target. So our, our damage is going to be through the roof now. This is a win. And it is a, it is a great win because for so long it looked like we were not going to have a chance. But we did it. Not yet. We shouldn't get cocky, but it's looking pretty good. I mean, remember I was saying, like, double adversary rooms are going to be pretty tricky? No longer is that the case. We just killed one of those adversaries in, like, two seconds here of sustained fire. So, uh, I'm extremely fortunate to have gotten the items that I got, but I think we earned this one, you know, it, it, very much so as well. Whoo! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Chase me down. You better do it soon if you're going to do it, because, yeah, you're dead. Our flies are doing a ton of damage as well. I mean, look at the size of our tiers. Keep in mind, we got Proptosis, Eve's Mascara. Like, that's such an insane damage boost for us. And then our flies, of course, get uh, two times that damage boost. Crazy. I didn't want to kill that uh, that one first, but we did. Good. And eh, not so good. I don't... I mean, we could do the floor all over again. I'm not risking anything at this point. This run has been too dangerous to, to throw it away. We probably wouldn't be throwing it away, but it's too dangerous to even try. Oh, we, I didn't even realize we had a Spirit Heart there. It's not worth it. The, the speed downgrade, you know, normally is okay because you get the added ability to crush rocks for the entirety of the run, but we don't need to crush rocks for the entirety of our run. Keep in mind, we do have Holy Mantle right now, so, you know, getting hit once is relatively meaningless. I really doubt this is the right way to go, but we're going to do it nonetheless. So this is like your ideal uh, dark bum room. We don't really need that. We'll re-roll it if we get the opportunity to do so. Oh, too bad we got Holy Mantle. It makes Nun's Habit not so good with uh, D6. Don't pay out for me, dark bum. I don't want it right now. Yeah, this this will be a dead end, but it's a dead end that's going to give us a reroll, so that's good. If you'll excuse my hubris a little bit, I'm very just very excited to be in a position where we should be absolutely totally fine here. Sure, let's ruin it. Yeah, that that might have completely botched our run, but I still have high hopes that we're going to win. Let's see. Does it still do a lot of damage? Eh, it does okay. I should really just stop picking up the lasers when they show up every time without even paying attention, but it's still good. That's unfortunate, though. Now, can I take Forget Me now and just erase the fact that I did that? I would like that very much. Our technology damage is still really good. Still got Holy Mantle. Uh, those will be re-rolled to fuck. Not, not re-rolled for the purposes of fucking. There's a very big difference there. Re-rolled until they it just are fuck. It doesn't really make any sense. Alright, X-ray goggles, you know, who cares? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Should be like a PSA on technology that's like, you know, warning, may cause you to become disillusioned with your run. I'm not disillusioned with this. We still worked for it and we still got it. Remember when our number one way of dealing damage was actually Headless Baby? Whew. We've come a long way. Let's check this out. Uh, I'm probably not going to... I'm not that, 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 not that interested in that right now. Alright. I didn't even see that we had the quarter. Anti-grav technology. What does it even do? It does nothing. There you go. Where did that quarter come from? And uh, I guess we're just going to finish our run. We got a cool looking Isaac here. I'll give you that. Well, Anti-Grav comes with the Tears upgrade, which might have actually uh, helped us out a little bit here. And Quad Shot. Ooh. Well, we're going to be shooting slowly, but with purpose. <laughs> and the best thing we can do is dodge because we actually, like, we have to be moving constantly. Because we can't uh, stand still or his shots will actually hit us. That was an easy boss fight, a fun finish. We did it. Now we just need to do Maggie and Kane. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.